Hi everyone, there's no place like home. Welcome back everyone, how's everyone doing? Well, can you guess what this video is? It is my full Wizard of Oz collection that I have been dying to show you guys and who better to do it than Dorothy herself. <laughs> this costume here I wore last year with my husband. I bought this costume, but I did make the ruby slippers. I made my basket, my dog. I bought a stuffed dog and I even painted it and designed that to be Toto. And my husband's costume, which was my most favorite on Wizard of Oz, was the Scarecrow. I made his entire costume. At the very end, I will show you photos of that. You guys will see that at the very end. But yeah, I am very crafty with my hands and so... I had a lot of fun doing that. This year, though, I put this costume on. It's funny, it's so big on me from last year. I actually have some uh, tear in this dress because it was so tight on me. My husband last year, when he was putting it on me, he was like trying to zip it up. And this year, I put it on myself upstairs. I just put it over. I didn't even unzip it. So yeah, I've lost quite a bit of weight even from last year. Um, I already was pretty much, you know, over the 100 pound mark. But I just can't believe from last year to this year, um, I've taken off like another... Uh, I think like 30 to 40 pounds I've taken off. So yeah, this dress is big on me now, but it still works okay for the video. So that's great. But I want to share my collection with you guys. And if you're interested, then keep watching. Okay, it is quite a big collection. I will try to go as fast as I can. It's not huge. I'm sure there's people out there with bigger collections, but I want to show you mine, and um, I'll go as fast as I can with each thing. First off, I got this letter from my mother-in-law. She sent this to me, my husband's mom, and it says, Ozif Ozified, and I want to read it to you guys. It's pretty interesting, some things about the Wizard of Oz, if you guys didn't know. I know, but I'd like to explain it by reading this letter, a little bit easier. Ozified is the term that MGM Studios used to describe the entire United States in 1939 when the movie The Wizard of Oz first came out. There was a special radio broadcast about the movie and more newspapers featured Oz stories to get people interested in the film. It was the very first time that a movie release was accompanied by the sales of books, toys, dolls, games, soaps, valentines and dresses the sales of these items were expected to hype the movie and entice people to go see it and the hype worked the wizard of oz was widely successful Ten thousand people gathered just to greet the film's stars and production staff on opening night thousands more from california to new york paid to see it but the movie just broke even meaning that it made only enough money to cover what it cost to make it. And it cost $3 million to make this movie back in 1939. Can you believe that? The Wizard of Oz was considered a very expensive movie to make. Right here, it's gonna tell you. It cost more than, more than $3 million, an astounding amount of money in 1939. Even though the movie was widely popular, it didn't even make back the $3 million until it finally started show being shown, I'm sorry, on television starting in 1956. From 1956 to 1988, it was shown every year and finally grossed about $20 million. It was also released in movie theaters and made another $5 million there. And we are still ozified as the lore of these wonderful film um, continues to pull in home video viewers, but there is a long story behind the path to the video. The Wizard of Oz, as we know it, was not the first production of the wonderful story written by L. Frank Bong. In 1986, in 1902, it was performed as a play on Broadway in New York City. 
Then it was made into a silent film in 1908, 1910, 1914, and 1925. Imagine, imagine having, imagine having to rate. Sorry, guys. Imagine having to read the words to know that the scarecrow needs a brain and that Dorothy was trying to get back to Kansas. When the 1939 version of The Wizard of Oz was first shown in New York, Judy Garland would actually appear on the stage with Mickey Rooney for a 30-minute song and dance between showing of the film. The teenage couple performed their act five times during the week and several times on the weekdays. Or weekends, sorry. Ozified, yes. There are these, I'm sorry, there are Oz references everywhere in our language and culture. We often speak of following the yellow brick road um, or a person with a straw for brains. It is not uncommon for someone to say, you're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy, when a person is encountering a new situation. Items from the movie are also very popular. In 1988, a bidder paid $168,000 for a pair of Dorothy's ruby slippers. It was the most money anyone had ever paid for a piece of movie memorabilia. The Wizard of Oz has been seen by more people than any other entertainment in the history of the world. Did you know that? Its audience now tops over 1 billion people. Ozified indeed. Isn't that amazing, people? Such an amazing paper written all about the Wizard of Oz. I know so much. I've done so much reading. I have loved Wizard of Oz since I was probably five, four or five, and I saw that first clip on the movie, Dorothy turning her foot and showing that ruby slipper. Let me show you. Ah. Isn't that just beautiful? Every little girl's dream to have a sparkly red pair of shoes. <laughs> yes, since then I have loved The Wizard of Oz and I have loved shoes, especially the ruby slippers. And I would give anything to own a pair that Judy Garland actually wore, would love it. It's really interesting, the story behind the ruby slippers is they were not truly made of ruby, rubies. They would have been too heavy for her to wear. They were made of sequins and the story in the book, if you read the book, they were silver slippers, but when they were making film, um, the technical color wasn't picking up the silver very good, so they went to red, and that's why it was the ruby slippers, because red would pick up better for color, and because back then, you know, filming was a lot harder to do, uh, but they used sequins, red sequins on there, and that's what just made that light, when the light hit it, it just gorgeous, gorgeous. But anyways, let me get started on my collection here. Let me start with, well, where it began, the books. So, I will show you what I have for a collection of books. I have this one. It is so cool how everything in here moves. Let's see if I can get it to move for you guys. The pictures move inside of here, which is cool. Oh, there we go. I had to have the book closed. See how she um, clicks her slippers? Let's see. Why is it not doing Oh, there. It's clicking the slippers right there when you, when you bend it. You see that? And then the pages, as they turn... It just, it's got pictures where, you know, everything changes in there. It moves. See, there's the house. There's, it's coming down. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's so hard to see these things, how the house is coming down. It gets closer and closer to the bottom. That's so cool. But that's what this book is. It's just got pictures of everything just changing in here. The scenes, there we go. They change. Isn't that cool? I love it. So that's my book here. And my husband bought me this. And we were at, I can't remember, some store in Wisconsin. We were visiting his kids one day, and I saw this, and I had to have it. It's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the book by L. Frank Baum. And I love how it's got the sparkle on there. And I paid $10 for it, which is awesome. Whoops, sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, and then I got this one. I think I got this for my sister-in-law. Um, well, sister-in-law-to-be, Tommy's girlfriend. I think she bought this for me. Absolutely love it. The first five novels, The Wizard of Oz. And then this one. My husband got me this one, I believe. Absolutely love it. And this one here. Oh, it doesn't have it in it. But anyways, love this. And then I think this one was the one that, oh no, it wasn't. Okay, good. 
I don't want to be showing you guys something and not feel that. Then this book, can't remember where I got this one from, but somebody bought it for me. Absolutely love it. Isn't that cool, the, the pictures on it? Love that. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then my husband bought me this on the 75th year anniversary of Wizard of Oz. He bought this for me at, um, it's a bookstore in the mall. I can't remember. <laughs> but anyways, this is so cool. It has so much awesome stuff in here about the movie and like how it was made and all just interesting facts in it. And then it's got this awesome envelope here with all kinds of cool stuff of production and filmmaking and just everything in here about the movie. I absolutely love going through this. I would go through it and show you guys this, but the video would be so long and I'm trying not to make it really long. But if somebody owns this, they know what's in there. But yeah, it's got so much memorability. Maybe one day I'll take time and just do the book and show you all the stuff in it, okay? So then I've got this magazine that my mother-in-law gave me. And it's really cool because in here, it's got a bracelet I fell in love with and had to have, and I actually do own it. I own that bracelet right there. Let's see if I can get this on film right for you. Look at all those charms. Everything from the movie. They're all in there. If I can get it up, maybe you guys can pause it and look at that. It's got everything in there. I actually ordered this, and I don't have it to show you on video here. I will actually show you a picture at the end of it. I have it packed away, and I did not want to dig that, suck, you know, that sucker out. Plus, I have a set of Ruby slippers um, that I got from QVC. I will also show you a picture of that too. Both of those things are packed away. I do not want them to get ruined or lost or somebody to steal them or anything. So those are packed away in safekeeping. But yeah, that magazine's really neat. It was celebrating the 75th anniversary. So I got that for my mother-in-law. And then I got this. And this is just a, um, just a journal. I don't write in it or anything. I don't want to do anything with it. I just want to keep it. But look at the beautiful artwork on that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the back with the Emerald City and her following the yellow brick road to there. And I believe my brother got me this, my brother Tommy, this beautiful bookmark. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Okay, so that is my books. Then on to, well, let's go right on to the movies. I have got this one. And these ones here are VHS, but I had to have these when I seen them. I had to have them. Get you out of the light there. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. And then I got this version, VHS. Love this one. There's the back. And I got this one. This is the 50th anniversary of Wizard of Oz, which was really cool. It had the, you know, different stories in it about it and things to read about the, the movie. And that one also is VHS. Love this. My mother-in-law got me that. And then I have got, of course, Blu-ray version of The Wizard of Oz. Sorry if you guys can't see all that. And I got this, which is a, I believe, um, three-disc collection. This is a three-disc collector's edition, The Wizard of Oz. Um, it's got pristine ultra resolution uh Let's see. Restorance. Um, 13 hours of extras. Limited edition collectibles. I have not opened this. It's got books with it and everything. I left this closed. I believe I got this at a at a Goodwill or a garage sale. And I've left it in the wrapper. It's never been opened. And it's got books with it. And then your DVD. Shows you on the back what's in there. I do not want to ever open this. I'm going to keep it sealed. Because I'm sure this is probably going to be worth something. Right? So yeah, I love this. Love the, the artwork on it and everything. Beautiful. And then the other day I was at my brother's house and you might have seen in his video, he got this thinking it was one of those still books. Well, it's not an actual still book, as you see on the side. It's not a real still book. But he asked me because he's going to get a still book of it if I would like this because this was a little dented. And I said, yes, I will take it. I love it. Look at the back. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, it's not a true still book, but I still love it. And... I'll take anything Wizard of Oz. And that's the inside. And I'll show you real quick. I'll pop the discs out. And there's the artwork in there. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. I love it. So, yeah, I am so grateful for that. Tommy, thank you. 
I know you've been waiting for this video to come up of me talking about my Wizard of Oz collection, but I thank you for this. I love it. And I will be getting the still book version myself. And then last year, my husband got me this. It is a whole collection of Wizard of Oz stuff. And I'll just go through real quick and just kind of show you guys. When you open it up, it looks like that. And it's got a, this is just a journal to write in. See the house falling down there. And then on the back, there's Emerald City and them walking on the yellow brick road. And I will one day, again, go through this whole collection here and show you this whole collection real quick. I mean, in better depth. Right now, I just want to just real quick to show you what's in here because it'll take too long. That just shows the map for the Wizard of Oz. This was a scene when she was in Munchkin Land. Hopefully you can see that. Nice cardboard piece on the back is the Wizard of Oz stuff. And then um, it came with this book, All About the Wizard of Oz. Look, there I am. <laughs> and it came with um, this cool thing. It says, try me. It just lights up. Let's see if I can get it to, yeah. And it's the ruby slippers on a crystal ball with the glitter. And it changes colors. That came with it. And then it came with this little box set here. And it's got the brains, the heart, and the courage for the lion, the tin man, and the scarecrow. I thought that was cool, these little trinkets here. And then, of course, it came with the Blu-ray. And that I just keep packed away. I just watch my original Blu-ray. And it's got, this one here is the 3D version. That'd be cool to see the Wizard of Oz in 3D. I haven't seen that in 3D. And then you just got your special features film, The Wizard of Oz. And then, is that the one? Yeah. And then over here, it's got special features. And I hope you guys are seeing this okay. And then over here, it's got special features in the film again. One is DVD, one is Blu-ray. That's why. This is Blu-ray. And this one is DVD version. And then this is just a bunch of extras on the back here. So, yeah, I just love this one I got it from my husband. And like I said, I will go through it one day and show you this entire collection more in depth for you guys because I would be here all day if I went through all this stuff. So let me just get this put away quick and I'll be back. All right, now on to the next thing. My husband has got me over the years, anytime he sees anything to do with Mc <laughs> McDonald's, anytime he sees anything to do with Wizard of Oz, he grabs it for me. So he got me these, these mugs. And this one says, you say which, like it's a bad thing. And then this one here is just the four there, Dorothy. Tin Man, Lion, Scarecrow. I do not use these at all. The papers are still in them. I don't drink out of them. They just go in my shelf, my Wizard of Oz shelf. I will not drink out of these. I don't want to use them for anything. I just want to use them as a collectible. And then he got me these two. This one says, I'm a witch. What's your excuse? And the other one says, don't make me drop a house on you. Coffee mugs. Again, I do not use these. Will not. I like to keep them in my shelf. And then this one here is pretty cool. This was from 1995 Turner Entertainment Company. I got this mug somebody found for me at a grad sale, I believe, and I love the artwork on it. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Same same thing on both sides. Again, I will not use this at all. I do not drink out of it. I just keep it in my shelf. And it just has the people on it. It says The Wizard of Oz, starring Judy Garland as Dorothy, Frank Morgan as The Great Oz, Ray Bogler as the Scarecrow, uh, Bert Lahr as the Lion, and Jack Haley as the Tin Man. So that's pretty cool. And then I've got this puzzle. I've never opened it. Still sealed in the box. I do not want to even try to open this either or put it together. I just want to keep it in the box. I think that's really neat. I don't know how old it is, but I think it's really, really neat. Really, really cool. So, okay, another thing I have. This collection is from McDonald's. I got five years ago, I think. And I've never taken them out of the wrapper. I mean, you know, like unwrap them. But here we got Dorothy. So hopefully you guys will be able to see these. I'm sorry, I don't want to take them out of the wrapper. We got Dorothy. We got the little lion. And all of these have a piece of the yellow brick road. So when you set them up, it has a, a picture of their, them on the yellow brick road. So I got the lion. 
We got, oh cute, we got the Scarecrow. I'm sorry, the Tin Man. We got the Scarecrow, my most favorite one. And then we've got the Good Witch, Galinda, and the Bad Witch. And I love these, and I've never opened them. I'm going, going to keep them sealed. I believe that was all of them, yep. I'm going to keep them sealed. I'm not going to take them out of that the wrappers because, of course, they're going to be worth much more in the wrappers. More to show you. Okay, this here I got years and years ago. I would say um, early 2000s, I believe. Now, just ignore this. I put that in there um, because it was something. This was a display at McDonald's, and I just put this in there. I had bought these, and I liked them, so I... I actually put them in there and just, you know, like glued them in or whatever because I really like um, the Shrek, you know, Shrek, the movies. But anyways, here's what how it came. I got this. The display came just like that. It, it was from like the early 2000s, and I got the entire collection here still in the box on the containers here. And you've got Dorothy, Scarecrow, Tin Man, Lion. Look at how cute that is. There's even hair, real hair. Isn't that adorable? And then you've got Glinda the Good Witch. The Bad Witch. So you got Glinda, Good Witch of the North. You've got the one that was under the house right here that she fell on was the Good Witch or the Bad Witch of the West. This is the East. I hope I'm saying it right. This might be the East and the West. And then this one is one of the good ones too. So they were all um, witches, but this one, I, I believe this one was the only good one. She might have been good too, but I don't remember her even in the story. I have no idea on her. I have to check her out but these are all supposed to be witches but of course these two were the one in the story and this is the one the house fell on so thought that was cool i've had it in this box and never take it out ever 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 and then i got myself or my husband got me this years ago it's just a calendar i've never ever opened it out of the plastic i like to keep it in there and it's kind of neat how every month has got somebody new on there let's see mine is december how does it go? January. It looks like the witch <laughs> is December. Oh no. <laughs> okay. And then um, my mother-in-law found me these one day at a uh, at a um, a grad sale, I believe. And they're not in pristine at all, but I still love them, and I keep them inside of this. But she just got them like that. It's the old playing cards, I believe it is. Um, the person that had it actually made a bottom to it because it got so old. But there's the original, you know, they took the paper off. They unwrapped the paper and put it over a box is what they did of one of the cards. So I didn't even know they had cards back then. But anyways, here they are here. And some of them at the bottom are ruined um, because you can see it got damaged. This box did somehow maybe in somebody's basement. But a lot of these cards are really nice and I love them. I'll go through one day and kind of show you guys these. But I absolutely love these. Love, love, love. And I don't, I think there's a year on them. Um, 1990 is the year on them. So I guess they're kind of old. <laughs> so... That is those, and I, I love them. I just think it's so interesting that she found these, you know, like just at a grad sale. And then I um, have a friend online that um, I love watching on YouTube. She does all um, 3D nail art, and I talked to her one day and asked her if she could make me a ruby slipper, put it on a ring, but it's a fingernail. She does it on a fingernail to be the ruby slippers, and she did phenomenal on this. I also got a, a certificate of authenticity. And her name is Katie, Katie, uh, Katie Brown, C-A-D-E-E -E Brown. But her website is um, Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Um, I believe that's what it is. I'll link her link down in the box so you can go check her out. But she is phenomenal. I put it in this little box. This box is what I got when I got the QVC um, necklace, the ruby slipper necklace. I just keep it in there. But look at this. She did this all with acrylic. Um, yeah, acrylic, all colored acrylic. Look at that. It's 3D. Look, she's got it on a, a thumbnail, which she has designed into the Yellow Brick Road. And then she's got that scene where Dorothy turns her slipper was my favorite part. That's what she did. She's even got the little blue socks in there. And then, of course, Galinda's wand. Because you see that in the video, you see the wand come through. Isn't that just cool? And she made it into a ring. 
I absolutely love this. Of course, I don't wear it as a ring. I don't want it to get ruined, but I love it. But yeah, I'm going to link her link down in the box. You got to go check her out because she does make these for people and sells them. So maybe there's something you really like and would like to. Um, another thing when I um, was out... My husband took me to the Ordway to see Wizard of Oz. I was blown away. He didn't tell me anything about it. We showed up there, and all of a sudden, I seen the sign. I started to cry. It was for my birthday. My birthday is December 14th, and so it was winter, but he took me to the Ordway. That's when they were playing, and it was the most incredible play ever. They did really, really good. So close to the movie. I just, I cried. I was talking through the whole thing. It was just amazing how good they did. But anyways, I had gotten a bracelet from there, and the bracelet got real tarnished and bad, but the charms on it were still good. So I had asked a friend of mine, and I'm also going to link her channel down in my box. She makes these bracelets here. Um, I gave it to her and asked if she could make it look like the yellow brick road and then put all the charms on it. And I've showed you guys this in a video. So this is what's cool. She did the yellow brick road. I told her to do yellow. She did, I did not tell her, you know, secondary color. I love that she used black and white because that was the color of those um, uh, slipper or not slippers, um, tights that the witch wore under the house with the ruby slippers. So I'm really, I think that's awesome. She used black and white. I thought that was cool. But there's all the charms that are on it. So I'll just go around and show you. You've got the Emerald City representing in that heart. And then you've got Toto. You've got the heart for the Tin Man. You've got the ruby slipper. You've got the, I think this is the brain. Yep, the brains. And then over here, you got the courage. And then this little charm just says the Wizard of Oz. Now, oh yeah, I got all of them there. Okay, I was thinking I didn't see the Tin Man's on there, but his is the heart. But isn't this neat? And she's got it, it magnets together. And I absolutely love this bracelet. It means so much to me. I love it so much because it's all Wizard of Oz. And hey, I love it. So that's really neat. Okay, the next thing. My husband found these at Five Below. And I was so excited. And he got me the collection of them because he knows how much I love The Wizard of Oz. He knows that he can't just get me one. He's got to get me the whole collection. So, right here. These are Christmas tree ornaments, but again, I will never take them out of the box. I love them just the way they are. So we've got Dorothy. We have got Dorothy's ruby slippers. And then we've got... Let's do it in order here. We've got the Scarecrow. Hopefully you guys can see these okay. We've got the Tin Man. And we've got the Lion. Aren't those cool? Um, I was hoping there would have been a witch. And I think maybe there might have been a witch. But I, when I got there, they didn't have any of the witches left. I don't know. I will check again this year to see if they have them. Um, another friend of mine bought me this. She's seen it. I don't know if she said a grad sale or a Goodwill or what. But I love it. It is a... Uh, license plate. It says, my other car is a broom, and it says the Wicked Witch. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Emerald City, you got the witch, you got all of the characters right there, and that beautiful Emerald City. I love, love, love this. It's like, where did you find that? And then I've got this collection here that's really cool. I got this from Avon years ago. Early 90s is when I got it, and I wish I would have kept them all in the box because they are getting old and, and dusty and stuff like that, but I love them, and they're very unique and different. So we've got Dorothy here. And if they look a little stained, I'm sorry about that. They're very old. So we got Dorothy. We've got... Aw, her wand broke off, too, from moves. I've moved about four times since I got these. You see her little hand is broke off that had the wand in it. The wand was coming down. The wand is missing. So sad about that. But And you can see it's, it's you know, discolored and stuff. But I still love it. And then you've got the Bad Witch. Everything's still to her. Love that. I think... No, okay. Everything's still to her. Isn't that cool? Look at the flame around her. I love that. And then we've got our three characters. You've got the Scarecrow. I think that's so neat. You've got the Tin Man and his oil can. And then you've got the Cowardly Lion. And like I said, I love these. And they're very, very, very old. So I'm just very careful with them. And that's the best I can do because I was very young when I got them. So anyways, but yes, I love them so much and um, I got them years ago. I don't know if I got them for a gift or if I bought them myself. I can't remember, but I was a young teenager when I got it. So, and then my husband got me this at some, believe it or not, I think it was Kowalski. That's where I think he got it from. That is a grocery store slash like kind of just a unique 
kind of like almost like a hallmark is what it is but look at this this is a lamp and it's the leg of the the witch under the house with her ruby slipper and here's the hat on for her too isn't that cute and then you've got you take it off and that's where that goes so but yeah this is kind of hard <laughs> to put together so I'm just gonna set this down over here and I'll put the thing back on it later so that is that oh look <laughs> here's the basket for my costume and here's the dog I made when I got the dog it was that color look at how I made it look like Toto isn't that cute how I gave it the colors of Toto absolutely love it and then I carried it in this basket with the little um, black and white scarf in there and Toto I was gonna carry my own dog but we went to my brother's show and yeah I don't think my dog could have handled a heavy metal rock band like that I don't think so so let's go on okay the next thing my mother-in-law has been so good to me too she has found me so many Wizard of Oz stuff and also her daughter so my sister-in-law they found these for me at I don't know Goodwill or where they found it they just they won't tell me but they're in excellent condition look at this record look at the artwork on it oh, love 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 one of those old records the back looks identical and when you open it up, I'll just um, open the one here. But you see, I mean, a little dusty, but there aren't scratches on it or nothing. Just absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And she put them in these, uh, I don't know if she bought them in these plastic wraps or what to protect them, but I keep them in these plastic wraps too to protect them. I don't know, like I said, if they came on it or if she got it. I'm guessing she got it to protect it because we want to keep these nice. So they're the plastic cases on it. But she got me that one, and my sister-in-law also got me this one. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. And it's the uh, Wizard of Oz Me Mecco. And there's the back. Look at the artwork. Oh, I love this. Love, love, love. Oh. Sorry about that. My husband actually FaceTimed me, and I completely forgot I was dressed as Dorothy, and he's just smiling and laughing, and I'm like, what's so funny? And he's like, hi, Dorothy. And I'm like, oh, that's right. So anyways, I was showing you that record. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then my most favorite, and this is from my mother-in-law, was this one. Look at this. This is the original soundtrack album. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. You can just tell it's so old. I love it so much, so, so much. So she's been really good to me, found me a lot of things. And then I always thought if I ever had a little girl, I was hoping one day I'd have a little girl, I would dress her up as Dorothy. Well, I had a son and I'm very grateful, love you, Dylan. Um, but I was told I couldn't have any more kids and my husband I'm with now has four boys. So there was no little girls, maybe one day we'll adopt one. But I always thought when I would little, was little, I'd have a daughter and I'd dress her up one year for Halloween as Dorothy. So I got this dress and I just keep it in my shelf. Maybe one year I'll have a little girl to dress it in. But look at mommy and daughter. Isn't that cute? Oh, I'll show you my dress too. Stand up. Isn't that cute? So we would have been dressed so cute together. But I got that. And of course, not complete without the ruby slippers. Aren't these darling with the little heel? I love that. So I just keep them in my shelf. One day, maybe I'll have a little girl or maybe a niece or somebody. But until then, yeah. They just sit in my shelf. And then I made these. These are the ones I made to go with this costume for my costume and then my husband's costume, the scarecrow. I made the whole thing. I will have photos at the end to show you um, the completion of it, how I did it, and we went out last year because I, I love the scarecrow. Like I said, it's my favorite. But I made these. They were a black heel, and I completely encrusted it with glitter, and I also did a bow. I put bows on them. I glued them down, and then I put the, the uh, glitter on top of that, too. And the bows are hard, which is kind of cool, just like in the movie. And then... Years before that, I made these. They were a little tall to walk in, but I wore them for Christmas. I just wanted a ruby red pair like the uh, like the Wizard of Oz. And then these also are hard bows, too, that I did and put on them. But they're not exact. This is just a glitter, and the other ones are a loose glitter. This was a glitter glue that I did, but they're a little bit tall, so they're a little harder to walk in. So, And I wanted the ones to look like the Dorothy. And then these. These are a collector's here. Um, this one is the uh, L. Frank Bong official license. And I, all I have, my mom found these online, is Dorothy and the Lion. I want to get all of them. I have seen a few of them online, but they're pretty spendy. So I'm hoping I can get the whole collection. But right now, and then look, at she's got the little bows. So I got Dorothy and the Lion. I was hoping I would have had Dorothy and the Scarecrow, at least. Those are my two favorites. But she's got the little basket with Toto in it. And they're just darling. I love these. Love these so much. So 
I got a couple more things to show you. Here is a Wizard of Oz shirt that my mother-in-law got me. I do not wear it. I just kept it for my collection. She thought maybe I would wear it, but um, I wanted to. I think I did put it on one day and I decided, nope, I'm not going to wear this. I'm going to keep it for the collection. And then I also have, and last but not least, my poster of the Wizard of Oz. My sister-in-law got this from an auction. It was framed when she gave it to me. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see Emerald City. You can see the bubble up there of Galinda. You see the Bad Witch and then the gang. Isn't this gorgeous? I absolutely love this particular poster so much. So with an exception of two items that I'm going to show you in a photo at the end here and a few other photos of me and my husband in the costume and stuff, that is my collection. I keep the bracelet and the necklace put away because they are a lot of money for those. And so I just keep them put away. I keep everything else in my shelf, even though a lot of the stuff here I've got probably is worth some bucks. I keep it locked. But yeah, the other stuff, I just want to keep that put away because it's a bracelet. And I just, I never wore it. I never did put it in my shelf. I probably could have, but for now I have it just put away and it's hard to get to. And then of course the ruby slipper necklace I got from QVC was also over a hundred. So don't want anything to do with that or, you know, nothing to go bad with that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you love Wizard of Oz as much as me. Well, I'm Wizard of Oz's number one fan. <laughs> so, but anyways, I'm just kidding. But anyways, I hope you guys love Wizard of Oz as much as me. I hope you enjoyed this collection. And remember everybody, there's no place like home. Just click your heels three times and you can get back there. I love you all very much. God bless. Take care. And if you haven't seen the movie yet, you better watch it. Bye everyone. Say bye Toto. I could while away the hours conferring with the flowers consulting with the rain and my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. You want to see the wizard? in a lullaby.